All right, let's try another example of a line that's passing through two points. Uh, again, I'm not giving you the slope, but we can still use the formula for slope in order to find an equation for this line. So remember, the formula for slope is just the change in y over the change in x. If you want to, go ahead and label these points x1, y1, and x2, y2. And then just plug into the formula. So plugging into the formula, y2 is 1 minus y1, which is negative 2, so use those parentheses, over x2 is 1 minus your x1, which is negative 11. Okay. Now, I just finished this problem. Let's finish uh, what your slope is. So your slope is going to be 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 11. So 3 over 12 is going to equal just 1 fourth when you simplify. So this guy right here is my slope. Now let's use the point slope formula to get the equation for our line. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now this is great because you already have the slope, because we just found it, and you have a point that you go through. Now you can choose to use either negative 11, negative 2, or to use the order pair 1, 1. Uh, I'm probably going to go for 1, 1 because the numbers are smaller. Even though it says x1 and y1, it really just means uh, the ordered pairs or the coordinates for the point that you're working with. So uh, let's use that guy. I have y minus your y1 is just going to be 1 equals and then your slope is 1 fourth times x minus your uh, x1 is just going to be 1. Okay, so just finishing this guy, you have y minus 1 equals 1 fourth x minus 1 fourth when you distribute. Add the 1 to both sides to get y by itself. And now you're going to have that y equals 1 fourth x, you know, remember the, what you have here can be 4 over 4. So minus 1 fourth and a positive 4 over 4 is going to be a positive uh, 3 fourths. Okay. Now uh, you can check this, plug in the, um, the other coordinates that we have here, negative 11 and negative 2, and everything should work out. Okay. So there you go. Uh, you could have used the slope-intercept form. I chose the point-slope formula. It doesn't matter. In fact, why don't you try using the slope-intercept form and see if you get the same answer.